All right, we're looking at a current sensing relay out of a 767. These things are normally used for pitot heat, static heat, current sensing to make sure that the heater is on and drawing current. No current, no heat, and uh, normally you get a, a a warning message that uh, something is missing. But we're looking at, it's like I said, a 767. So that's that's basically it. You've got a, this is the heater coming in. Um, uh, that's an amp, basically a transistor, and then a relay coil. So you're turning on the amp, the amp provider, the transistor switch, whatever, provides a ground for the coil. The coil pulls the, uh, the contacts down, and whatever lights that you've got uh, extinguish. And in this case, on a, on a uh, seven six, you also have. Uh, ICAS warnings also. Uh, probes are done similarly on different airplanes. This is a this is a uh, MD10 actually. The heater the heater elements themselves. This is done in the mis miscellaneous systems controller, but it still senses current. This is a what are we looking at here? We're looking at a 57. So probably very similar to the six, just depicted in a different manner. Uh, here's the heater coil itself. Uh, what else we got here? We got a Gulfstream. They they do a little bit different, but they still have a sensor of some type, and it very well could be this exact same unit. This is pretty standard. So that's how they all depict it. So when I've got it rigged up, hopefully without killing myself, light uh, switch going to a plug feeding a light. Those two wires are the uh, are coming in on this coil right here. Then I've got my 28 volt power supply, my quickie feeding 28 on those two pins. Then um, two sets of contacts. Right now it's showing open and what we're gonna do is, kinda hear a little funky noise out of it as it energizes, but I've got my continuity and I'll go ahead and turn it off. And it opens. So yeah, I'm just feeding a lamp here, but this is basically the same thing that the heater would be seeing. So um, that's current sensing, really. Bye.